this channel, we try to focus on the most relevant threats that threaten our security and our way of life. We encourage self-sufficiency, independence, and the cultivation of... Is it that everybody, even you, has a right to be secure in their... Hi everybody, Kermit D here again. This is a video from CFW, California, and Fort Worth. I'll put the link in the description below. This is educating passengers in vehicles when you're stopped in a traffic stop. You do not have to show your ID. The cops, the police, they will lie to you and make you try to criminalize yourself any way they can. Know your rights. Here we go. Papers, their stuff, their desk, and their house. So, if you're unlucky enough to be a passenger in a car where the driver gets pulled over for some silly traffic offense, the officer has the right to ask for your identification, but not very many people know that you don't have to give it to them. Even if you ask, you do not have to give them that because the Fourth Amendment protects you. So check out this video from Carolina Fourth, and remember, please like, subscribe, and share so that everybody knows that they have a Fourth Amendment protection when they're riding in a car. Check it out. This first example takes place in Alabama. A young couple was moving from Florida to Alabama when they ran into this tyrant. He completely violates the Fourth Amendment. I just don't understand how these guys can be so ignorant to the law. They swear to protect the Constitution. But when you use the Constitution, they violate the Constitution. Yeah, he, doesn't have a, he doesn't have a license. Do you have any kind of ID to prove that Yeah, no, not on me right now. No, he's driving. No, he doesn't have a license. Yeah, not on me right now. But you do have one from Mr. Floyd, right? Yeah, but it's not on me. Right now. What is it for? Um, I don't think I should be forgotten that. I need to at least. You're not the one on the bus for me. You're not the one behind the wheel, so. Okay. Yeah. Did he do something? Am I being detained? Well, what are we being detained for? It's an investigation. Step out of the vehicle, sir. Um, but you are part of the vehicle, and I stopped her for speeding, and I'd like to know who you are. And you're giving me this deal where I don't think I have to identify you. Well, no, we don't I'm think we know. Stand still, okay? Yeah, so, I know I don't have to do that by that station. You don't? I no, don't. sir. No, I'm not a part of this. Okay, not, well, here's so. the thing. But you are passenger in the vehicle. That's out of the vehicle. I'd like to ask you a passenger right And you have not provided that yet. I introduced myself when I'm in It's also important for you to know that if an officer orders you out of the car, you have to get out. Supreme Court ruling. Supposed to provide your badge number and a name. Yes, you Well, legally, if you're in uniform, you have to. All right, step out of the vehicle again. I'm going to take you out of the vehicle. As soon as you provide your badge number. No, you can't. You can't. If you grab me, that's an assault. You can't assault him because he doesn't want to give his information. You have yet to find out. Well, he shouldn't have to. This is a traffic stop. Yes, you have yet to provide your name and badge number. I don't know who you are. Hold on. If we're being detained for something, now I am because we, you know, I was speeding. You can't do that. You do can't, not touch him. Please not, do not, not assault control. him. If you grab me, that's assault. I have it on video. Please do not I assault him. Yes, sir. If you grab me, that's assault. Step out of the vehicle. No, sir. You, you cannot get aggressive with us. If you grab me, that's assault. I have it on video. Okay. My no, right please here. do not. Right you are here. assaulting him right oh. now. I got you, baby. I got you. And you guessed it, he went to jail. But in this next example, the passenger really stands his ground. Not only does he tell the officer that he's out of his jurisdiction, he notices that a probation officer is with them, meaning that they're looking for violators. I'm recording it, so I can show you what you're saying. I'm sorry? I said I recorded it so you can see what you're saying. Okay, that's good. I'm recording too. Yeah? I'll just get pissed off, dude, when you guys pull a sorry name in front of the city. You just wasting my time and your time. Well, we had a legitimate reason to pull you guys over. That's so not legitimate. That's not legitimate. Yes, it is, sir. Okay, so. The custom tail lamp is a legitimate reason for you. Hmm? What's your traffic stop? Hmm? What's your traffic stop? I love it when my contact rolls back in my eye. It's like a gross game of hide and seek. With 20% off LASIK, there's never been. Pulled me over, yeah, fine, I don't have a problem with it. You guys do? It just, for what? 
Like, you guys just stereotype everybody, pull everybody over to get everybody's info for what? All it is is asking, man. No one's, no one's pushing them out of here. So what? Explain that. So ahead. what? A busted tail light? Yeah. Well, you need my information because she has a busted tail light. All I did was ask you for your information. I don't want to give it to you. And I'm not pushing the matter. Right. You're the one that keeps bringing it up. This is crazy. That passenger was exactly right. They take all your information and they put it in a database, but they also run you for warrants. And again, they're allowed to ask you for it, but it's your job to know you don't have to give it. In this next example, this woman really seems to not like our Constitution, because she makes fun of the guy who uses the Constitution. It's sarcastic and rude to him. What is the Fifth Amendment right, huh? You look confused. Okay. All right. I understand your recording. That's fine. I'm just asking why we are. Um, and I think that's why we are. People who don't want to tell us their names sometimes have a So. No, I just, I just, I'm a firm believer in the Constitution, and I like to exercise my rights. The issue with this right now is there's not a valid driver in this vehicle. There's no insurance in this vehicle. So right now... I'm not, I'm not, what, what crime do you suspect me of committing? Okay, I plead defense. I did not. Look, look up your insurance stuff. I did not. Okay. I got it. Okay. So I'm trying to look at your insurance stuff. So just uh, see if you can pull up the insurance stuff because I don't want to have to tow your car. Okay. Um, but your buddy's already talking to me about constitutional rights, so he knows how that works. And, he doesn't. <laughs> Some people say it's just easier to obey, and sometimes it is. We have to let these tyrants know that not everybody's ignorant of the law. They might trust it to follow a lot more rules right, and regulations. Yeah, still anyway, they still want to ask the passengers for their ID. You don't have your ID on you? You know, do you have your name? Can I get your name? Yeah, I got my name. Can I get it, please? I, I don't ask the questions that we're talking about. Where are you headed to? Uh, back to the court. Do you see that? Honor your fucking oath. Do you think that in our next example that they will honor their oath? All right, are you ready for this? In Arizona versus Justice 555 U.S. All passengers are seized from the moment of the car and stopped by the police. The court stated that the temporary seizure of the driver and passengers ordinarily continues and remains reasonable for the duration of the stop. The court said during a traffic stop, passengers are not free to uh, terminate their encounter with police and cannot leave the scene of the traffic stop. There's left the discretion of the officer to allow any passengers to remain in the car and allow them to get out of the car. However, also, the advisor. Ah, oh, there we go. Very strong. Uh, the advisor said that uh, the officer can allow. 
here right now. Yes, sir. Did you ask my permission? Uh, I don't need to. The Supreme Court has ruled that we have the right to record interactions with every police officer. Okay, that's fine. Perfect. I'm going to I'm sorry. Why are you angry? I'm not angry. I just I know the I know the law. I'm a civil rights activist, and I know that the Florida statute states that you have to be suspected of a crime in order to ID. Yeah, this is what the part of the traffic infraction means that you're part of this vehicle, which means that right. But I didn't. Traffic infractions aren't crimes, and I didn't. I'm not driving, so I didn't commit any infraction. Are you wanted for anything? No. Do you have any drugs? No. I don't. We're just we're 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 That's all I'm worried about, man. Yeah, I don't. Catching back. I don't, I don't got any. <laughs> All right, then why are you giving me such a hard time? Uh, I'm not. Uh, did you guys ask for ID? I said I'd rather not ID because I don't legally have to. Oh, well. All right. I'll give you my first name. My first name's Phil. That's all. Deputy Gary. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. people fuck the tyrants hold them accountable go subscribe to cfw's channel like and share let's hold the tyrants accountable educate the people and wake the sheeple let's go brandon